I'm Zap. I've decided to record myself playing a new game of Space Empires 5 in the Stellar Warfare mod. And this is going to be the Empire creation. We are going to be playing the Stellar Warfare mod. It is going to be a 1v1 on what I hope will be a small map. I'm going to be playing against Ed Colis, the creator of this mod. And I hope it's going to be a short and sweet game. So, what does the Stellar Warfare mod have? It's um, inspired by the Jazz mod, DJAS mod by Arthur Tuxedo. And it has um, several technology levels. So, you know, research uh, an expensive theoretical tech and you get access to much better weapons instead of like a vanilla like research where you just get 10% better weapons every level or so. But let's get into it. Um, okay, first we need to do is load the game setup file. It's called Ice Worst because mineral planets are the best and obviously ice planets are the worst. And this should set up the settings we have. Okay, the, um, the map type isn't particularly interesting. I hope he resets quadrant size to small because medium is going to be very awkward with two people on the map. Interesting ones are here. We have medium technology cost, high starting resources. Oh, he changed the resources to be uh, much smaller numbers, huh? Normally you start with like a hundred thousand of each resource or so. On planet value good, starting planet one, that's normal. This two is normal. You can see scores of all allied players, that's also normal. Tick points medium, ratio points high. Only three. Tick points medium, yeah, tick points evidently have been reduced quite a bit too, because a thousand can't buy you a single tech in normal games. Uh, number of computer players. Can you can you turn these off completely? Um, I don't know. Maybe you should set that too. But the most important ones are the settings for the empires, so that they can be uh, consistent. So what do we want? I happen to have a few extra ship sets installed, but I think I'm going to go with a vanilla one. Uh, my opponent Ed has already decided to go with the Abaddon ship set. I usually take the INR ship set because it has uh, warp nacelles and it looks Star Trek y. But I think I'm going to go with this one, which is the Sithrak, I believe. Was the Amon Kree. Or the Xiati. I could go with Xiati. I could go with penis ships. I don't care. And my usual flag. Uh, this one. I'm going to be in the Zempgaron Consortium, which is what I usually take. It's my default name. But, uh, let's put in some data. I don't think I actually need the email address. I had that email address since it was 13 or something. That's why the name is so silly. Let's take a design file. I have installed a whole bunch of different design files and let's pick something that looks fun. There are like four different design files just filled with beer names. This is a really long list. Um, Jeez, mm. Ethelion, Strazi, no. Tupiganger, Dinosaurs. Diseases. Oh, yes, let's take diseases. That's going to be fun. Overall minister style. I'm not sure if you have to pick anything here, but I'm pretty sure it only affects the ministers and I don't really intend to play with any anyway. We are Zemp Garons. We are Zemp. Uh, Zemp Garons. And we are Zemp Garanoid. And usually take the. Uh, Frozen squirrel ones and uh, I don't know asteroids. All right, we can. We don't have rocket ice and gas. <laughs> we have rock gas and asteroids. Asteroids have been made into a, pl a colonizable planet type in this mod. Um, sure, why not live on asteroids? Asteroids with non-atmosphere. We are space rock people. Uh, government trades and society trades have been disabled. The only small modifiers, 10% this way, 5% that way. And now we can pick between our racial trades. Uh, use terraforming technology, use kamikaze words on manned vessels, gestation words at the start of the game, miniaturization mount, that sounds okay. Advanced unit launch base at the start. I'm pretty sure you get all these things you get um, available later anyway, but after uh, some of the more expensive theoretical techs that upgrade you to tier 2 and whatever, uh, whatever category it is. 
Gravitic weapons? No, I do expect that it to be early combat. So maybe something with uh, stronger weapons would be better. Maybe I should take more passive bony. Usually I like taking uh, expert miners or industrialists or some of the uh, well, research bony. Something that gives you an economic bonus that uh, will just compound uh, the longer on the game goes. But since we are expecting something reasonably start, hmm, this maintenance was also interesting. <laughs> Twenty five percent to weapon damage, but twenty per uh, minus ten to dodge. Ah, it's not minus accuracy; it's minus defense. How about we just take twenty five percent weapon damage? That sounds good. And then we still have one point. What do we do with that? Mm, all the other points here take with two points as well, except for the mining trades. Yeah, all points take two points, except for suicide bombers, which I'm not particularly partial to. Well, let's take expert miners. I'm not sure about the resource balance in this game. I think taking some like expert refiners might be uh, more appropriate, but uh, I'm not sure. I've played this mod before, but it's been a long time ago. So yeah, you can see the technology costs in this game are much lower. We have a thousand points, and of course these technologies are 250, they're 267, so can't take four of these. These just seem to be the general uh, theoretical ones. Nuclear physics, you can look at the descriptions too. Additional items in macrobiology, planet industry, power torpedoes. Well, usually I like to start with a better level of sensors. Can only take level 2, level 3 would also already to be too expensive since at the start of the game you obviously need to explore and being able to explore more efficiently is, is victory. And then power and propulsion, because I happen to know that if you don't have power propulsion, you only start with ships that can move one or two tiles a turn. Which isn't as bad as it sounds, because this game, uh, this mod has really small systems, smaller than like balance mod small systems would be. So let's take propulsion. I'm not sure if you should take po power or propulsion. I'm pretty sure they both increase your speed. And we have 200 points remaining. Is there anything we can actually buy with 200 points? No. So, mm, we could take two things that cost 267, like better guns, microbiology, it sounds like a more like, economic tech. We could take torpedoes and one of these techs, like planetary industry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that sounds good. Then we have to uh, invest our starting research into power or propulsion. We'll have to see. I'm gonna leave these empty. I could take a scientific uh, race description I wrote once upon a time. Even though I don't even have any science pony. Whatever. Fill it in. Most people don't read these anyway. Okay, then we need to save the empire to file. Let's call a lizard MP for uh, ice roast. And uh, that's it. We can still look at the other um, section, uh, or the other settings for this game, but I'm not sure if he's changed anything here, or if he change, intends to change anything else. He's left intelligence on. There wasn't an intelligence option for racial traits or anything like that, so I didn't, ma I didn't check either. Maximum units, maximum ships allowed. I don't think we're gonna hit that on a small map. Yeah, I'm not sure if he changed these. Mm, yeah, turn based move from hot seat. He definitely needs to change those. <laughs> victory conditions don't matter. People usually don't play for victory conditions anyway. Well, we've saved the ma we've saved the empire, and now let's upload it and hope the first turn goes up soon. <laughs>